Uh, the lack of PPE has doctors and nurses both reusing masks intended to be used, as you just heard there, really just once. Right. A local group of doctors thought there might be a way to sterilize those masks. Dr. Frank McGeorge is back with a look at their research and the impact it could have. Doc. Well, Devin and Kimberly, a team of dermatologists at the Henry Ford Health System realized that their expertise with UV light might be helpful in easing the shortage of PPE. And today, their research is being published in hopes of giving others a model for safely reusing certain masks. We came together and looked at what could we do to understand using light, specifically UVC light, to allow us to repurpose personal protective equipment. Using this machine, Henry Ford dermatologist Dr. Iltifat Hamzavi explains what started as an idea just last Friday became a reality at warp speed thanks to a partnership with an Ohio-based company called Davelin. We use phototherapy equipment in our offices all the time to treat skin diseases. Well, Davelin was able to repurpose their devices, put in UVC lamps, then we brought it to Detroit and we tested it against actual mass. Drawing on previous research, and we're able to show that we can keep the integrity of the mask, we can kill the virus, and then the healthcare worker can reuse it. One important caveat. Not all masks perform the same. You can irradiate all masks at least once, but some masks you can go seven, eight, nine times and still be okay. So you really have to be clear about which mask you're using, and you also have to be very clear about which light system you're using to irradiate the mask and clear the virus. And it's not something you can do at home. You can't take a nail salons, UV lamp, and use it in your house and expect to kill the virus. So there's a lot of photomedicine that's behind this. But they hope it can help those on the front lines. We're really trying to show that our nurses, our docs, our PAs, our nurse practitioners, our staff in the ICUs, in the ERs, that we got their back. And we have allowed the very best minds of photomedicine to create a protocol within four days that usually takes about two years to do. Yeah, so the study is being published in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology. The researchers are sharing their initial findings and their protocol as they're developing it, along with a manual and a how-to video. They are doing additional testing, but they say that this is something that other hospitals can start replicating, frankly, tomorrow. Back to you. That love that Detroit ingenuity <laughs> for sure. Okay, Doc, thanks.